intentionally, we cannot say that. Hmm. Before we start the class, I would like to record a small message for my um, YouTube uh, audience. People who will watch this video online on YouTube. For the first time, if you stumble upon my videos, I want to send this message to you all guys that learning English requires a lot of patience, okay? You cannot learn English listening to a teacher who is explaining concepts about the English grammar in Hindi. There are so many videos on YouTube where teachers are talking in Hindi and they are claiming that they are teaching spoken English. This is a joke. If your level is very, 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 very low in English and you don't even understand spoken English, maybe you need a few days of you know, classes in Hindi so that you can start to understand some basic words in English. And after that, the teacher must switch to communicating in English. That's the only way you can improve your spoken English. If one wants to improve their understanding of the English language, they can listen to a teacher speaking Hindi. But if you want to improve your speaking skills, if you want to speak English better and you're listening to teachers speaking Hindi, you're wasting your time. Good evening, sir. You will never feel Good evening, that sir. way. Hello, Raki. Good, Good evening, Faizan. You will never feel that way that you are wasting your time. You'll think, oh, you understand everything your teacher is explaining. But it is a waste of time from that perspective. If you want to speak English, listening to a teacher speaking Hindi is not going to help. OK. Um, that was a small message for my YouTube audience when they watch this video. And now, uh, the students, let's do what we were doing yesterday. Uh, we did exercise five. There were three texts. We had to complete them with the articles and some and any. So I think we finished number two as well. Number three, Mary wanted to make, Mary wanted to make some chocolate cookies, but she didn't have any your pronunciation. Any, any baking chocolate. chocolate. She did have three baking chocolate. Try and say in a flow, then your bad pronunciation will be. Annie, no, any. Any, any. Okay, Annie, any are not the same sounds. Do, do they sound the same? I'm trying to say. Annie, any. So, which is the word? Any. Yes. Any yes. The, the, these things are going to. Take, take, take a lot of time for you, you know, to, to correct. Yeah, yes. A sound, you never say A sound when you need that. Instead of A, you say I or A, but you don't say A. Like any starts with A sound, you say Annie. Annie. Yes. Hmm. She didn't have any baking chocolate. Next, the chocolate she used didn't melt. The chocolate she used didn't melt. And the result was not A. Not A because chocolate chip cookies. The result was chocolate chip cookies. The result was chocolate chip cookies. Yes, singular. Chocolate chip cookies. Chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. I would like you guys to compare, like Sarita compared, the last line of one, it was an ice lolly. It's a singular noun, ice lolly. But in the last sentence of three, the result was chocolate chip cookies, because cookies is a plural noun. Talking about you. Think of when something went wrong. Think of when something wrong, something went wrong. 
think of a time, a moment when something went wrong when you were cooking at home. Think of when something went wrong when you were cooking at home or eating in a restaurant. Make some notes. Think of a moment when you were either eating, cooking at home or eating in a restaurant and things went wrong. Okay, something went wrong. Think about a moment, first of all. Think about an event of this kind. Make some notes. Mental notes or notes in your notebook, it's up to you. Think of when something, you were cooking something in your kitchen or at home or eating in a restaurant. Work in groups and tell each other your stories. Ask and answer questions about them. So I'm going to put you guys in the breakout room. I'm waiting for a couple of more students to join. Uh, I don't know why they're all so late. It's 6.14 already. Hmm. So what was I? saying yeah i was saying that uh, we are going to make breakout rooms where you will have a simple conversation with each other i'm going to share my story with you first i am a little busy i am a little busy okay faizan is a little busy he will not be able to participate all right so my story this story i will not forget i was in chennai and uh, I was missing Bihari food so much. It was like my fifth day. I was coming back the same day. Um, but uh, we were near the rest, you know, railway station. And there was a restaurant. And I don't know, there was some time. We had some time, maybe about a couple of hours. So I decided that go check go and check whether they had something bihari and i asked if they had chicken chili and chow mein and they said yes absolutely i said please i was very excited that after five days of eating chennai food which i wasn't very fond of honestly speaking you know i was going to eat bihari food i was so excited i sat there waiting for my meal to arrive when they served my chicken chili and chow mein in front of me you know I was like, what is this chicken chili chow mein? Because the chow mein was floating in the water. There was a lot of soup. I said, is this chow mein? They said, yes. And the chicken chili, oh, awful. So I refused to eat first. Okay. And uh, they said, whether you eat or not, you have to pay. I was very annoyed. There was a policeman sitting in a, in a corner in the restaurant. I thought that he would help me. But realizing that I was from the north, he decided to side with the, you know, the restaurant wala. He just, he was just mute. He didn't say anything. I kept asking him to help me out. I said, listen, this is wrong. I ordered a meal that they have not, you know, served. They're asking me to eat this or, or even if I don't eat, they're asking me to pay and I don't know what I should do. I was talking to him in English. I couldn't speak Tamil, and these guys were talking to the police wala in the Tamil in Tamil. So he understood that I was an outsider, obviously from my face and everything as well. So I felt really awful about it. Yeah. Do you have any questions to ask? And no, you can't force yourself to ask a question. Questions automatically, you know, just sprout you know that you can't just do anything about them if you don't have any questions don't feel guilty don't force yourself to ask a question okay little bit little bit because i had to pay so i did eat a, a little but it was not like what i was expecting so i couldn't really finish it yeah i just wasted my money 
So anybody who is going to live in Chennai, I tell them that you're going to struggle with the food, you know. Biharis are not going to be okay with the with Tamil food. Hmm. Okay. Delhi doesn't have very different food. UP doesn't have very different food. The Hindi belts have the same food, I think. Even in Rajasthan. Yeah. Rajasthan. I... I I ate Rajasthani food, means sorry, uh, in, food in restaurants in Rajasthan, and I didn't complain because, uh -huh. maybe. He. Okay. They are eating? In Hindi? So they are eating? They are eating in Hindi? They eat. Yes, they eat. They eat rice, dal, and they eat rice. Okay. <laughs> Where in Rajasthan? They have dal bhat and they add sugar to it. Okay. I never, I didn't get to see that. It's difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> no. I mean, the person can be eating anything. How does it bother me? As long as they're not eating raw meat or something disgusting, that there is nothing. Wrong. They, uh, yes, you can, you can, you can sit here across me, across the table, and you can add as much sugar you want to your dal and eat it. No problems. I'll mind my own business. I'll eat. I'm mentally strong. These things don't bother me. But the first no, I'm just saying it won't bother me that way. I'm just shocked, sir. You were shocked. I would be shocked, but it would not put me off my meal. I just I'll still eat my meal. Okay. After some time. Now, any other questions you guys have to ask? No, then I'll tell you another simple story about something uh, went wrong while while I was cooking something at home. Yes, it was when um, my wife and all my family members were away and I was alone at home. So I decided to have a party with my students. They knew that I made very good pasta. And I did actually. Once I made, um, you know, garlic cream pasta, um, very Italian style with uh, ajivai, sorry, oregano and all, okay. So they said, sir, try the same thing. I said, why not? There were around 10, 11 people. And I cooked a lot of pasta. I boiled a lot of pasta because I knew they were all young people and they were going to eat a lot. But I somehow got overwhelmed with the quantity and all. And I just lost my, you know, sense, my ratio. Uh, the end result was awful. Um it looked like halwa bharta, something like that, chokha, you know. It wasn't tasty at all. But the most surprising part was they finished it. I didn't, couldn't manage to put the second, second thing, you know, second time it on my mouth, you know. I just couldn't like it at all. And uh, they managed to finish it all somehow. They were hungry, you know. Or maybe they knew what things I had added. A lot of cheese, a lot of paneer, a lot of cream. So they enjoyed the, uh, you know, the ingredients maybe somehow. To me, it didn't taste nice at all. I was very frustrated with myself, but they finished it. Many times it has happened. Once I tried this uh, special recipe from uh, the course book, um, it was a chicken dish. Okay. And it turned out really bad. When I talked about it in the class next day, I tried it in the evening. And when I talked about it in, in my morning class, some of the students said, sir, is it still left? I said, yes. So please bring. I said, okay. I brought the, you know, the recipe, the dish, and they again finished it all. So some of my students have always been this way. You know, they just don't care about the taste and all. They know food is food. <laughs> They're not very fussy.
Now, I'm going to put you guys in the breakout room where you are going to talk about uh, your experiences when things something went wrong while you were cooking or while you were eating in a restaurant. I'll give you guys maybe five to six minutes. Okay, guys, let's talk. I'm opening the rooms. Oh, come on, Arsalan. Even you don't want to go in the room today. Then just go and listen to other people talking. Go ahead, guys. Let's start your conversation. You two there, you two there. Would you join the breakout room? Sahil, join the breakout room. Guria, join the breakout room. Then go to the breakout room. What's wrong? There was there was two liter milk and uh, and I and there was also a piece a lemon and then I make a paneer and that that time I cook a paneer butter paneer. What a coincidence. Very few people are present in the class today. Rakhi, did, did Rakhi tell you why she left? Sakib? Sakib, are you there? Sakib. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What's wrong? What's going on here? People, is this your bad network or something else? I don't know. There are only four or five people present in the online class today. Rocky is back. Six. Where are Sir, the your other voice six? is not loud enough, sir. Okay. How about now? Yeah, it's okay now. Okay only. It's just okay. Not very clear. I think. I think. People, you guys are struggling with your internet today. Yeah. You were in and out of the meeting a couple of times. No, sir, but I can hear you properly, sir. Yes, Sahil, your internet is good then. Yes, sir. My bad. Rock. So yes, I Rocky, you're got in. Kicked out from you. you got kicked out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> can you put me in, in the room again, sir? We ended the breakout session. We ended them. We end, closed the rooms. Okay. All right, guys. 
the next page. Let's go to the next page. The video, we'll watch the video later. On a day when we can uh, turn on this. We can do it today as well, but maybe I'll share the video with you. Vocabulary and listening, a piece of cake. Work in pairs, match the amounts in A with the things in B. How many phrases can you make? Okay, guys, make phrases with matching the phrases in A and the nouns in B. A bag of paper. Is it right, sir? A bag of? Paper. Paper. All right. I don't know. I won't say anything at the moment. I want you guys to make think of some phrases. And then uh, later I'll check. Okay? okay. How about a bag of bananas, Sahil? <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of banana, we can say, sir. Okay, good. Uh, just think what sounds more logical, more natural, okay? Mm. Don't, don't ask me now. First of all, you guys try and make those phrases, okay? Match the amounts in A with the nouns in B. Form some phrases. We will check them later. Start on with B. Think of the word bananas. What can you say? A bag of bananas, a bottle of bananas, a box of bananas, a bunch of bananas. So Which bananas. sounds more natural to you? Okay. Then come to the word beer. A can of beer. A bottle, a of, bottle beer? of beer? Yes. Beer, yeah. Both of sound fine. Tuna is a fish. Tuna is a fish, yes. Huh? Uh, don't worry. Like I said, I'll get back to you guys when you're done, okay? Of course, I'll, I don't mind you making mistakes. That's fine. Do what you can. These are all amounts. Everything on the left is an amount.
Okay, let's check. Bananas. Beer. So what does a bunch mean? Good cha. All right, very good. Beer. Bottle of beer. Bottle of beer. Okay. We are talking about beer at the moment. Uh, next, bread. Packet of bread. Uh, a slice of bread. Which word? Okay. Now, fine. I don't want to tell you Hindi because I don't care. I was just trying to highlight something that there are a few words that you guys are comfortable just using in English. There are some words that I'm comfortable just using them in English. Okay, next. Uh, cake. A piece of, and what a about piece a slice of cake? cake? And a slice of cake? Yeah. A slice a of slice cake of is as cake. correct as a piece yeah. of cake. Okay, all right. Next. Chewing gum. A box of chewing gum. Chewing gum. Chewing gum comes in a box. Yes, sir. I don't know. Carton. Chewing gum comes in a carton. In a carton. Oh. Okay. A box of chewing gum. A okay. packet of chewing gum. Packet of chewing gum sounds good to me. Crisps. Okay. Mm, a packet of crisps. A packet of crisps. Okay. And uh, crisps started coming in boxes as well, right? Yeah. Box of crisps. Correct. Okay. Next. And oh. Okay. Still buy box of this. Next. A can look. Coke. A can of a bottle Coke. of Coke. Those are a fine. Yep. Flowers. A bunch of flowers. A bunch of flowers. A bunch of flowers and, and that's all. Next. Ham. Ham. Ham is pig's meat. A piece Slice of, of ham. Uh, Come again. Yeah. A piece of ham. A piece of ham. Okay, no, no, no. I'm just asking. I'm just asking what you have written. Okay, a loaf of ham is fine. A slice of ham is fine. No problems. Okay, you can have a loaf of ham. You can also have a slice of slice ham. Of so what does a loaf mean? Okay. So ham means ham is a type of from a pig. So a loaf of Ham matlab? Okay, so that what you're saying is a loaf. Exactly. Okay, next. Next word is a jeans. Jeans. A pair of jeans. A pair of jeans. Milk. A bottle of milk and a bottle of milk. A packet of milk. A box of milk. A box of milk. Okay, bottle, a bottle of milk and a packet of milk. Both are fine, right? A can of milk, milk comes in cans as well. Yes. Milk yeah. comes in cans. Where? Yes. I've never seen. No, sir. No. Never. I have never seen cans of milk. Okay, anyways, but it is possible. It is possible. Next. Next. Uh, matches. A box, box of matches. A box of matches. Okay, next. A piece of paper. A piece of okay. paper. Now, next. A pair of socks. Uh, a pair of socks. Next. A pair of socks. A box of sweets. A packet of sweets. A box of sweets. Yes. A box yes, of yes. sweets. Sweet. A packet of sweets. Okay. Next. Tissue. Uh, low, like this, tissues. I mean, meat, ham, and tissues are similar ideas to you. You thought of a bunch of flowers and a bunch of bananas. There is some similarity, right? But here you are saying a loaf of ham, a loaf of mutton, a loaf of something, a loaf of bread. Okay, but you are saying a loaf of tissues. Tissue paper? Okay. Right. So, what will you say? A box of mm -hmm. tissues. A box of mm -hmm. tissues and bag of bag of tissues. I have never heard a bag of tissues. Tissues don't come in bags. A tissues okay. come in packets, sir. Yeah. 
T tissues come in packets as well. True. Yeah. Tuna. Can of tuna. Box of, a can of tuna, a box of tuna, both are fine. Why? Okay, I'm now, to, excuse me, you're thinking of tuna when you asked me tuna is fish. I said, yes, they send you in supermarket powdered tuna. Okay. Powdered tuna, a box of tuna, okay, a packet of tuna. Like what do you think? What will you call it? If that is, we have a real tuna fish, then which uh, amount word we, are we going to use with it? Tell me. A slice of, slice of tuna. Yeah, that sounds good. Absolutely, from that perspective. Okay. Yeah, sure. Hmm, next. A bottle, a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine. Now, do you have any confusions about anything? I'm going to show some of my students what a loaf looks like. <laughs> what do you see here? A big bread. No, it's not bread. Bread is uncountable. Bread. You see a loaf of bread. You see a? OK. Now. Still, you see very similar thing, right? A loaf of ham, okay, sliced. These are ham sli slices of ham, and that is a loaf of ham. So the whole thing is a loaf. And then you chop, you cut the loaf into slices. I hope you understand. Listen and check 4.6. 4 4.6. 4 A piece of cake. A bag of crisps. A bag of sweets. A bottle of beer. A bottle of Coke. A bottle of milk. A bottle of wine. A box of matches. A box of tissues. A bunch of bananas. A bunch of flowers. A can of beer. A can of Coke. A can of tuna. A loaf of bread. A packet of chewing gum. A packet of crisps. A packet of sweets. A packet of tissues. A pair of jeans. A pair of socks. A piece of bread. A piece of cake. A piece of paper. A slice of bread. A slice of cake. A slice of ham. We need to listen to it one more time. 4.6. A piece of cake. A bag of crisps. A bag of crisps. A bag of crisps. A bag of sweets. Bag of sweets as well. But when they say a bag of sweets, don't think of the Indian sweets. Do you think Indian sweets come in ba bags? No. They are slightly wet, right? They have syrup to them. If you put them in a bag, the bag will be sticky and all. You need to keep that keep them in a box. 
A bottle of beer. Okay. So with bag, we use how many things? And a bag of crisps, a bag of sweets, a bottle, a of, bottle of Coke, a bottle of Coke, a, a bottle, bottle of, of milk, a bottle of wine, a bottle of wine. All these things, liquids come in bottle. So fine. A box of matches. A box of. A box of tissues. Box of tissues. They're not saying a box of sweets because they are not aware of the Indian sweets. A bunch of bananas. So they did not use the word a box with anything else. They used a box with a box of matches and a box of sweets. Jesus. Did we use the word box with anything else? No. A box of tissues. A box of tissues, a box of tissues, yes. Did we use a box of sweets, a box of tissues, a box of uh, matches? Three things, okay? Did we use box with anything else? Guess not. No, no. Not a box of chewing gum. Okay, we don't say a box of chewing gum, no. Yeah. A bunch of flowers. A bunch of flowers, a bunch of bananas. Yeah. A can of beer. A bunch of jeans is also possible. What? A bunch of jeans is possible too, I think. I can say we bought a bunch of jeans. Uh, he, they have just a small, now nah, sounds a little far-fetched. Some pairs of jeans. I bought some pairs of jeans. I bought a bunch of jeans. I think it's possible to say I bought a bunch of jeans. Means I bought more than one pair of jeans. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> a bunch of girls. Uh -huh. Connected with each other. With something. Come on. A bunch of jeans. A bunch of jeans. Can we put together the jeans? A bunch of jeans. Okay, what we are doing is not we are supposed to. Either it exists or it doesn't. We don't really do logic. If it exists, whatever she's saying doesn't matter. If it doesn't exist, whatever I'm saying doesn't matter. So box of, uh, sorry, a bunch of, bunch, no, no, bunch of jeans. Stack of jeans, absolutely. Pile of jeans, absolutely. He's bought a pile of jeans, not a bunch of jeans. Okay, to highlight that there are a lot of jeans. Okay. Um, just give me a second, guys. I know how to check whether it exists or not. both exist absolutely correct like i said okay so don't do argument on logic when it comes to language okay especially we are talking about what collocations these are collocations they are often used together right so i thought a bunch of jeans is fine oh i bought a bunch of jeans it means i bought some pairs two three four five pairs i didn't buy a pair of jeans a pair of jeans is fine a pair of jeans is egg jeans i bought a bunch of jeans because they were all very cheap okay mm -hmm. A bunch of tissues. A bunch of tissues. Let me explain. <laughs> I just said that we don't do logic, and now I'm going to to help her understand because she's studying that way. She's saying, if we can say that, then we can say this. Tissues and jeans. Can you buy one tissue? Can you buy one tissue? You buy packets of a packet of tissue. 
Okay, that's all. So, yes, we can say a bunch of tissues. He took a bunch of tissues. Uh, however, you know, you can say he took a few, a, a bunch of tissues and made, uh, yeah, and, you know, squeezed them into a ball. We can say that. That way. That. Yeah, of course. But you don't say buy a bunch. Uh, okay, please. In some particular time, we can... This is why this class has to be expensive. A class that allows a student to take care of their individual doubts like this, okay, has to be expensive. It's not possible. And I see it becoming a lot more expensive in the future. Because these classes cannot be made bigger. If a teacher is speaking alone and the students are listening and taking notes, 500 students can sit and take notes. But if students are going to ask questions, individual questions, okay, then it's not gonna go that big, 500 students in one class. So a teacher is teaching light. Physics, a teacher is teaching amoeba, all right, biology, or a teacher is teaching what is, uh, you know, organic uh, compounds, okay, the concept. Then the students will listen. There will be very few questions coming here. A sentence has eight words, eight different questions can arise from eight different students because there are eight different words in a sentence. It's possible, just like what happened right now. Did you see this question coming? Were you expecting the question Saita asked? No, of course not. So that's what I'm saying. A class which allows you to take care or address your personal doubts like this, you know, anytime you want, it has to be an expensive class. Why? Because such classes cannot have a big number of students. And when a big number of students sit together, classes become cheaper because the teacher doesn't have to work on individual students there, you know, they work on the group. Okay, so a bunch of tissues, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Next. Let's continue. A can of Coke. Mm -hmm. A can of tuna. A can of tuna as well. Again, you have never seen that because for you, tuna is a fish and you guys think fish comes in shape. We buy it, the raw fish, right? But it is processed fish powder, tuna fish powder in a can. You add it to bring the flavors. You don't eat the pieces of tuna, okay? You have, yeah, you have... Yeah, you get the flavor of tuna, okay? There are so many dishes where people use the powdered tuna, okay? Now, for some people, it's a weird thing. Powdered tuna fish? You make the fish into powder? Yes. You dehydrate the fish so it becomes dry, and then you make it powder. First, you remove the water content. The fish has water content. You dry the fish. So there is no water. Amanraj is attending online. <laughs> Amanraj online and Amanraj here. Aman, where did you get your special power from? Huh? Aman Kumar. Uh -huh. yes. Hello, Amanraj. Who is this Amanraj? Who is this? Who is this? This is why I say to my students, first, when you share my, you know, contact with somebody, share my WhatsApp with someone. They text me, I know who's coming because this distracts, you know. This is the main reason.
Hello, Aman Raj. Can you hear me? Unmute yourself, Aman Raj. Can you hear me? Aman, Ma, Aman? Aman Raj. आपकी आवाज मुझे बहुत क्लियर नहीं आ रही है तो अगर आप कोई माइक्रोफोन यूज कर रहे हैं तो प्लीज उसको हटा दीजिए और मोबाइल में डायरेक्ट बोलिए ठीक है कहा लिखा हुआ है आपके पास कोई माइक्रोफोन है क्या एक्सटर्नल माइक्रोफोन है उन्होंने कनेक्ट कर डिस्कनेक्ट कर दिया गलती से दे डिस्कनेक्टेड बाय मिस्टेक ओके कैरिंग ऑन सो कैन ऑफ टूना इज क्लियर टू यू गाइस आई नो इट्स नॉट समथिंग वी आर फैमिलियर विद बट इट्स फाइन ओके इन इंग्लिश अ लोफ ऑफ ब्रेड अ लोफ ऑफ ब्रेड Similarly, a loaf of ham is also correct. A packet of chewing gum. A packet of chewing gum. A packet of crisps. A packet of crisps. A packet of sweets. A packet of crisps. 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 Uh, and what was the last one? A packet of sweets. A packet of tissues. A packet of tissues. A pair of jeans. A pair of jeans. A pair of socks. A pair of socks. A piece of bread. A piece of bread. A piece, a of, piece cake. of cake. By the way, a piece of cake has an idiomatic meaning. What is that? A piece of cake has an idiomatic meaning. What's that? a piece of cake means something very easy something easy ah uh, convincing him would be a piece of cake ah oh, come on it's just a piece of cake means it's a very easy task it's something very easy to do a piece of cake she is not a piece of cake you too okay so you know people can use so many things out with their imagination maybe oh she looks like a piece of cake or something i don't know but normally a piece of cake is something very easy all right oh she's a piece of cake means i can easily befriend her i can easily in, in, impress her you know that kind of thing oh she's a piece of cake like that okay no sometimes what happens some girls are difficult to make friends with and some girls are easy to make friends with however i don't like doing this kind of thing and i personally do not like those who are not easy to make friends with because they play hard to you know um you know they this drama that they do that i'm i'm not interested type of thing you know and eventually they are actually actually they are but they what is that phrase they play it cool initially you know that i don't care attitude but i don't like yeah. it be honest be straightforward about your feelings about your attitude why 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 pretend i don't see the point it used to be the case in the past okay now i think most boys and girls are very straightforward about their feelings when they like somebody they say i like you when they don't like somebody they say i don't like you and that's very cool i think you know those who play games often complain that you know people don't understand them those who play games often complain that people don't understand them so if you don't want to end up making that complaint then just be straight forward don't play games a piece of paper a slice of bread a slice of cake a slice of ham okay now work in uh, how much are some of the things in your country okay 
How much are these things in your country, in our country? A bunch of bananas? Depends on how big a bunch is. <laughs> yeah. We buy. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Right. My answer was, how much is a bunch of bananas? So I said, depends on how big the bunch is. How big the bunch is. And how big the bananas are. Because the bigger bananas are more expensive. Okay, next. Exactly. Nowadays, there are some bananas in the market. In, you know, and they... They are very cheap, but when you cut them, then you get big black seeds inside and hard parts as well. I love bananas, milk and bananas, my favorite. Okay. Uh, a bottle of beer? How much is it? Uh, the guy is not here to answer the question. A box of matches is one rupee, I think. One or two rupees. You can buy 70 in a dollar. 70 for a dollar, not in a dollar. For a dollar. You can buy 70 for a dollar. Okay. 70 boxes. Okay. A packet of milk is about 40 to 50, 60 rupees. 60 rupees. Yeah. A one liter packet. One liter packet. Mm -hmm. Yes. If it is full cream, nothing has been taken out, then it will cost more. Okay, fine. A pair of socks. They can be as cheap as 20 rupees and they can be as expensive as 200 rupees as well. 200 rupees a pair. Maybe even more. 500 rupees a pair as well. Yeah. It depends on the company and the quality of the socks. When I was a young boy, we had just one pair and we had to make it last for one year, two years. Even after we had holes in them, we had to wear them. Okay, we didn't have another pair, simply. We just had one pair, one pair of shoes, one pair of socks. We had to wear them all the time, wash them, clean them, keep and now, sometimes I, when I, you know, think of this, these things, I feel like, yes, I should be very thankful. Now I have 10 pairs of, you know, socks here and there. Whenever I want to wear a new pair, I'll just wear a new pair. Okay, whether the other one is uh, dirty and not dirty, old, not old, it doesn't matter. I can change them anytime I want. So people's Buying capacity has increased now. People can buy more than in the past. On average, everybody can buy more than they could in the past. People don't believe in saving anymore. It's good for economy. Saving is not good for economy. Our parents are believing in saving. Because they, they, they had come from hardships. They had experienced a lot of hardships. So if you have been, uh, if you have had some bad experiences, you will be rather cautious, you know. So because they had seen very hard times, so they didn't want to splurge. Splurge is waste your money on something, you know. Uh, that's why they didn't want to splurge. A splurge means just spend money carelessly. That is called splurge splurge on a watch splurge on clothes like this a splurge bhi dekho ye word kabhi mere muh se nikla tha kyunki abhi ye context aaya to muh se nikla to vocabulary bahut hai english mein aur aap vocabulary ke master karne ke chakkar mein na jaye aap padhte rahe wo hota rahega i never try to improve my vocabulary as long as i tried it didn't improve okay I remember I used to read the newspaper and collect vocabulary, you know, in my diary. 20 words, 30 words. Once the five, six pages were filled, I would lose my interest. It would become boring. So I wasted maybe six, seven diaries this way. My vocabulary didn't improve. But if you keep reading, you know, someday 
sooner or later, your English vocabulary will become better. So make sure that you spend some time every day reading. And what do you read? Something interesting, nothing boring at all. Something that you really find interesting. Something that makes your mood. Like, you know, you read and you say, wow, I spent my 10 minutes and I'm feeling so relaxed like that. Don't read anything that doesn't interest you. That's why I sometimes go to the next to that extreme and say, if erotica makes you happy, read erotica in English. Doesn't matter. Quality English, you know, not by Indian writers. Okay. Because their English will be substandard. Quality, you know, and you can, I'm just saying, please, I'm not encouraging you to read erotica. Please don't misunderstand. Okay. I'm just saying, doesn't matter what you're reading. Anything that interests you, anything that makes you feel interested in the subject, read. So it should not become as uh, something you're doing for English, something you're doing for yourself to just really relax yourself. That's it. Like you have been, you have worked hard all day and then you sit down and read something for half an hour just to relax yourself. And that should be a subject of your interest in English. That's it. Okay. Next. Reading jokes can never be taken like reading, right? You're just, but it will help you with your English vocabulary. But read jokes which are not written by Indian writers. Jokes which were written by English writers, native English, you know, speakers of English. If they have written these jokes, read them. Okay. You will improve your English and your vocabulary both. Hmm. Now. Uh, score work in teams your teacher will say a word in a and score one point if someone in your team is first to shout the word with something that goes with it score two points if it isn't in the list in one wow very good so i have to shout words like i'll say a bag a packet okay so if when i say packet and somebody says a packet of crisp then he, they get one point because um you know crisp is here in the list and if somebody said a packet of biscuits, because biscuits not here, so they get two points, okay? But you have to shout, you have to respond quickly. So we can divide, uh, make two teams online and offline, okay? Fine, let's do it. So I'll say a pair. Yeah. I heard Susan. And uh, I heard Sahil, Sahil, I couldn't hear you very well. A pair of trousers, sir. Trousers, okay. So I heard jeans and shoes. I think jeans is here, shoes is not here. So you guys get three points here. And uh, Sahil uh, says a, band, a pair of trousers, which is also not here. So two points. Okay. Uh, there are more people in the online team and still only one person answered. You guys can unmute yourself and be ready to play the game. Okay. Next. Um, a piece. A piece. a piece of cake. A piece of paper, a piece of cake. One, one, two points. And the online students didn't say anything. A piece of roti is not valid. Roti is countable. A roti, two rotis. Okay. So the on the physical team is physical class team is uh, leading, okay, by two points now, three points. points. Yeah, they have two, so you're leading by three points. Okay, a can, a can of coke, all right. Saki, Ravi, Raki, Mukarram, you guys don't care. Sahil is alone playing. Sir, it's very noisy from my end. Uh, no, nah, we I don't hear any noise. We don't hear any noise. Trust me. It's fine. Okay. Let's Please. see. <laughs> okay. Hmm. A can of ghee. A can of ghee. Okay. A bunch. A bunch of spinach. A bunch of spinach. Okay. You said a bunch of grapes. Grapney, grapes. Okay, a bunch of grapes. Yeah. Two, two. Okay. A bunch of keys. All right. So two more. Look, 
multiple students can answer in the uh, physical class two three four students there are four students sitting here and uh, three of them have uh, have been answering Mas, have you answered yeah. he, even he so all four are active that's why they're scoring more a bottle bottle of water okay two a bottle of oil sir yeah. Bottle of what, Sahil? Oil, sir, oil. A bottle of oil, okay. <laughs> Sakib, Ravi, you're letting your team down, guys. Rakhi. A bottle of oil. That's what they said. A bottle of alcohol, sir. Possible. But it doesn't come in a bottle. It, it doesn't come in a bottle. We are we are amount. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's possible. I borrowed a bottle of uh, you know a petrol. However, people say I borrowed a liter of petrol, I borrowed a two, two liters of petrol like that. But a bottle. Okay. Yes, Sahil. A bottle of alcohol. I said, sir. A bottle of petrol. Alcohol. Alcohol, a bottle of alcohol. People don't, don't lead, normally don't say alcohol. They say a bottle a of bottle wine. Of, a bottle of petrol. A bottle of what, Mukaram? Petrol. Petrol? Yeah. You can get some petrol outside, like in a bypass. Where they they said this in the class as well. They said in the class as well. And I'm not ready to accept that, you know. <laughs> uh, because... A petrol, a bottle of petrol. I mean, it, yes, you can. <laughs> hey, uh, but a bottle of apple juice, orange juice, whatever. <laughs> okay, a bottle of juice. Okay, next. A glass of juice sounds better normally because people serve juice in a glass. Okay, you can, in a certain situation, specific situation, you can use those phrases. They're not common. All right. Huh? <laughs> yes. Why didn't you guys say a bottle of Ruafza? <laughs> a bottle of Ruafza, yes. Okay, a bottle of slice. Huh? Yeah, a bottle of tomato sauce. There were so many examples. Okay. Uh, clearly, the uh, physical class team are leading because they are right here and it's more fun to play. And the on online students are somehow not able to take so much interest. Sakib has not said a word. Ravi has not said anything. And Gudia and uh, Raki, they have not been participating. It's, it was only Mukarram and uh, Sahil, basically. Two versus four. <laughs> okay. Fine. Uh, I think it was a draw match. <laughs> Umpire is biased. <laughs> Clearly, you guys are the winner, right? And I'm saying it was a draw match. It was a draw. It was a tie. It was a tie. At the shops. Listen to six conversations. Where is each conversation taking place? Sorry, sir, I, I, I can't able to speak. No, can't ke baad able nahi aata. Can't ke baad verb aata. Able is an adjective. Sakil. I can't speak. Sorry, sir, I can't speak today. I, sir, if I have to say able, so I am not able to speak. Is it okay? Yes, yes, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Now, listen to six conversations. Where is each conversation taking place? Imrana is absent. Nikhil is absent. Shahid Afridi is absent. Saurabh is absent. Four good students. Huh? Oh, what is, is, is Ganesh Chaturthi today? Yeah. Today is Ganesh Chaturthi. Okay, yeah, I got a message wishing, you know, me is on my Geo app. Happy Ganesh Chaturthi. Okay. Yesterday? It was Ganesh Chaturthi. 
yesterday too. Today. So you didn't take a class yeah. in the morning? Ah, uh, my internet was bad down, you know. That's why it happened last night. My geo was down and 4G doesn't really support that much, you know. I could have run the class using my hotspot, but it's not very smooth. So I decided to just, hmm? yes. I don't know. I, I don't ever experience problems because of my Wi-Fi. You, you have my a wifi geo router. Yes. But Why yesterday the one inside my house was damaged. Somebody damaged it. I don't know. Or it happened accidentally. I don't know. It happened twice in within a month. If it happens again, if it happens again, then I'll know that somebody is doing I, it. Because I today think you should upgrade your router, sir, in 5G. That's right, sir. 5G router is available. I think so. I have Geo Fiber and I'm getting 100 Mbps per second right now. That's the plan I have. And I can show you guys that I'm getting the speed. Per second. Speed test. And how much is it costs us for a month? 1200 rupees we are paying right now. 1200 rupees in one. We are also sharing it with some of our neighbors. So it depends on speed, cost. Yes, yeah, exactly. If I want it faster. Now we don't have more. access here, sir. I would like to install a one. Wait for a couple of years, maximum. Yeah, I, I told some of uh, market people, like, you yeah. have to go and if, talk if, to them. If, let's say, 10 people or 20 people apply together, they can write yeah. an email that there are 20 people waiting for a connection, you know. They will definitely pay more attention to that because there will be more. If one person wants it, they'll, they need to put all the infrastructure for one person. But if you take class from this... BSNL, is it the same price, same speed? Yeah, but we it? have a good 4G network, sir. Okay, so you guys go for BSNL, you know, fiber connection for 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 the time being until you get your geo. It is very much the same price, and you'll get a good speed as well. But uh, they don't give very easy service, very much service. Uh, very good service. Listen, I think fiber is good. If G if they are they are giving you fiber connection, you know, uh, then you will not experience many problems. You won't need their services a lot. I mean, there won't be many problems. Actually, we have a, a tower, a three tower in the middle of village, and we have a good internet four G. If a tower will be upgraded, then five. I will buy there is a, a problem. Airtel Look, mobile internet, mobile data is different. That's it's different. expensive. Okay. You yeah. you can have 2 GB per day, 3 GB per day. But if you pay twice the amount, you will have unlimited. 500 rupees For 500 rupees, you get 30 GB per, per 30 MB per second speed, unlimited. So one yeah, person yeah. gets it from air, you know, uh, uh, BSNL. And they can give connection to all the people. Why? Why they can give the password, Wi-Fi password to ten people in the family or in the neighborhood. You can go for hundred Mbps, you know, speed as well. You'll have to pay only thousand rupees maybe per month, and then you can charge other people who are using your connection. You know, hundred rupees a month. If five people are taking your connection, you can charge them hundred rupees per head, and you will get five hundred rupees from them. You'll have to pay only five hundred. 100 Mbps is a great speed for individual users. Mm. No, but if they want to share it with the neighbors as well, because they live in a village, you know, so there are lots of people around who want the connection, of course. Okay, so are we ready to listen to the six conversations? Uh, where is each conversation taking place? Is it in a cafe, a news agents, a del delicate scene? or a clothes shop, or an off-license, or a chemist. Okay, let, let's learn the names. A cafe, we know. A news agents, we understand. 
A delicacy scene is a place where you can buy special food from other places. A delicacy scene. Uh, we don't have them here, but suppose you live in Tokyo, okay? Then Tokyo is a multicultural society, a mega city, you know, capital city, very happening place. So there will be some delicate scene where you can buy food uh, from other places as well, other countries as well. An off license is a shop which sells wine. An off license, you have to show your, um, you know, ID proof and you can buy a certain amount of wine from there. Yeah. Okay, let's listen then. 4.7 at the shops. One. Can I have a copy of the Times, please? That's £1.60, please. And can I have a box of matches too, please? And I'll take a packet of this chewing gum. Sure. That's £2.90 altogether then. Where was this conversation taking place? You didn't understand it? Uh, okay, I have a suggestion. I am giving this suggestion to everybody in every class. Guys, you must bring your headphones because it's gonna take me more than one lakh rupees to get that system where I will provide you, you know, this. So it's not possible for the time being. Maybe a couple of years, two years, three years later, I can think of this. Right now, to help you with the listening section, everybody will come with their mobile phone, headphones. Mobile phones you guys bring here, right? So you have to bring your headphones too in your bag. You have them right now. And you, Anna, have you got them? You, say Okay. Uh, you, you haven't brought either, right? You have your wired headphones at home. Okay, fine. Yeah, anything, any earphones, headphones, whatever. Bring them here to the class. Because see, when you listen to these audio files here in the One. Uh, speaker, they are more difficult to understand. Just Can I have a copy of the Times, please? That's £1.60, please. And can I have a box of matches too, please? And I'll take a, matches too. a packet of this chewing gum. Sure, that's £2.90 altogether then. Where are they? Where is this conversation taking place? I think in at the shops. Okay, very interesting. You think it is a cafe? What do you think? Yeah. But what things did they buy? A box of matches. You buy a box of matches in a cafe. Where? Which cafe sells a box of matches? By the. <laughs> They have a lighter, sir, for smoke. Gazam karte ho, Pande ji. I should say, Gazam karte ho, student ji. A box of matches in a cafe. Which cafe sells a box of matches? You tell me, please. They are at the then shops, sir. Where are they, Mukarram? I think they are at the shop, sir. What did I say about delicate scene? Delicate scene. What did I say about a delicate scene? You can get um, things from outside. Expensive food from other parts of the world. And what are they buying here? A packet of chewing gum and a packet box, box of, of matches. matches. Fine. Then. No what is a news agent? A news agent this so sells newspaper. Okay, they sell newspapers, they sell chewing gums, they sell matchboxes and stuff like that. Okay, it's a special type of shop, you know, news agents in British culture, okay. Um, I don't know if we have them here in India at all. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, a news Gomti. agent. Yeah. Gomti. Some Gomti. Also. <laughs> <laughs> Gomti. <laughs> Got it. Yes, then fine. In 
Near railway station. Two. Excuse me, how much are these shorts? Those are nineteen ninety nine a pair. Have you got any in blue? No, sorry. They only come in black and brown. Okay, I'll try the brown pair on then. Where was three? Kind of... uh, the at stops. Yes, that's an easy decision, right? That this conversation was in a closed shop. Can I get two lattes and a bottle of sparkling water, please? To have here or take away? To have here. What size lattes? Regular and three slices of that chocolate cake too, please. Advice for you. Advice for you. Yeah. Every day, spend an hour listening to English. Uh, the audio files are great help, but be beside the audio files, there are other things on YouTube as well. You know, where two people are having a conversation or stories and all. British English, American English, doesn't matter. Listen to English, okay? Things that interest you. The rest of you guys, I think now, where was this conversation? In a cafe. It looks good. Yeah. It is. So that's sixteen pounds ten, please. Four. Could I have some paracetamol, please? Do you want a bottle or a packet? Uh, two packets, please, and a box of tissues. Okay, that's two pounds ninety-eight then. Where was this? Five. Okay, Four cans of beer and three packets of crisps, please. How old are you? Eighteen. <laughs> you don't look eighteen. Yes. Have you got any ID? Not on me, no. Hmm. Then I can't sell you the beer. Okay. I'll take the crisps then and four cans of coke. Right. Five pounds thirty, please. Six. Four slices of ham, please. Certainly, madam. There you go. Anything else? Else? Uh, a piece of that blue cheese, please. Is it Roquefort? No, it's Stilton. Very nice, though. It'll go well with this lovely white loaf. Okay, I'll take one. Lovely. That'll be fourteen pounds twenty altogether. Okay. Write the audio script if you can. Bring your headphones tomorrow to the class and bring them every day. Just keep them in your bag. They, they should be part of your, like, like you carry the books and everything else. Carry your headphones as well. Because I realize when I ask my students to listen to these things on their own headphones, you know, uh, they understand better because the sounds are more clear. Okay, that's why. Fine then. Uh, let's meet tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow, the rest of the students will be present too. And today there were some people who are struggling with the internet. I hope that won't be the case tomorrow. So bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Good night. Bye, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.